everyone so today I decided to do a tutorial on how I curl my hair using a flat iron this is honestly the way that I curl my hair 99% of the time if I want my hair to look a little bit more neat and curled I'll use my curling wand but with a straightener it's just fast and easy and pretty much in every single one of my videos that has my hair curled it's with a straightener and I got some questions on how I curl it you can use any old straightener mine is probably like four years old so just make sure you guys have a good heat protectant follow my steps on how to do it and I'm sure you guys will pick it up in no time I just think it's a fun messy loose kind of beachy curl so I really love it if you guys are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and then also ring that little bell so you're notified for all my future videos and if you want to see how I curl my hair using a flat iron then keep watching Okay, so the first thing, the straightener that I use is called the Pro Beauty Tool. I just got this off of Amazon. I've had it for years. I really need to buy new styling tools because mine are all getting very old. So I do use this. I just, it doesn't have like a temperature gauge, so I can't tell you the temperature to put it at. Yesterday, I washed my hair. I obviously let it air dry. I didn't do anything to it besides put the Davines all-in-one milk into it. This makes it smoother and shinier and your hair feels so soft. So I use that and then I'm also going to go in with this Orchard Oil by OGX and this is a color protectant and then also acts as a heat protectant. So I'm just going to go through and spray my hair a little bit with this. So in no way did I make my hair damp at all by doing that. So I'm going to take my hair into sections. I first do just like a halfway section, just a little bit above my ears. And I just clip this back. So now I just have the lower half of my hair. As you guys can see, the back of my hair is already got some waves to it. So like I said in my previous hair tutorial, I don't like going through and curling all of my hair. Number one, it's faster this way. Number two, it's less damage to my hair. So I like to focus mostly on the top portion of my hair and then just do a little bit of curling down here. I focus on what you can primarily see. So I just take pieces about this size. I have this in my right hand. Obviously you just use whatever hand is most dominant. And I'm taking it with the front up and I roll it backwards. I roll it and then I pull. So then it ends up looking like that. So I start at the top, roll it all the way around, and then pull back. And then you can also, occasionally I will do this as well, to the very top, I take it and then I roll as I go. and it will leave you with a curl like that. You can also change directions if you want. And you'll get a curl like this. It's just all your preference. What I normally do is do it all away from my face, but it really, it's just your preference. Then when it gets to the back pieces, I normally take it about halfway and I mostly just stick to curling the ends. That way it looks a little bit more put together, but I'm not necessarily curling the entire thing. And I also do it a little bit more messily. That way it's not looking totally put together, but it's still really pretty. And you also want to make sure you're not holding this down really, really tight. You're not clamping really tight. When you do that, your hair, it like almost like catches and then it leaves little kinks in your hair. So I find that clamping it lightly is the best way to do this. Okay, so you can see not it looks put together, but not all of it is completely curled. 
So then for this side, I curl it away from my face. So what I do is I take it like this, so it's straight up, and then I curl it backwards. And then I just curl as I go. Taking it straight up and twisting back as I go. Straight up. Twirling it back as I go. Alright, and then I just let the top section down. And then I take just this tiny section right here. And I pull this up. Because this hair right here is going to be pretty much the main hair that you see. And then I just lightly comb the top of my hair. And I pretty much do the exact same thing that I did to the bottom layer. Okay, and then for the top layer. So when I do the very top layer, I just kind of do it in random pieces just to make it a little bit more messy so first I'm just gonna start right here I'm gonna go from the very top and immediately start curling inwards just gonna give me more volume on top and more of a curl on top as well All right, and then once I feel like most of what I want curled is curled, I just take my hands through the tops, through the bottom, and I'm just kind of running my hands through it. And then I'll go through and decide if there's anything else, any other pieces that I want a little bit more curled. Then I normally go in with hairspray or whatever else it is that I may want to put in it. That is it. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. The first times that I tried doing it was a little bit tricky, so just keep practicing with it and I'm sure you guys will get it. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!